Welcome back to Warner Auto, everybody. What we got here, I should have, but I did it. Took off the old alternator. I should have videoed that, but I was in a rush to get it done. So, what we're going to do, we're going to show the installment of the remanufactured. But anyways, <coughs> this is a 1999 Mack dump truck. All right. So we're going to do the best I can. <coughs> Showing the installment. The installment, not installment. Oh, you know what that word is. don't have the battery disconnected just bear with me for just a second let me get this hot wire away from the alternator start laying the alternator down that there should be good and now we're just going to basically take it get these pins lined up Now I'm grabbing the the bolt so we get it lined up here. I know y'all are unable to see it, but the main reason of showing this video <coughs> is the truck driver of this 1999 Mack Duck truck was telling me that he cannot use any kind of electronical electricity whatever whatever says I don't know what's going on with it I don't know what to do Blah, 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 blah. Well, dude, uh, I hate to tell you that huh, you're experiencing a screwed up alternator that, that was literally, no joke, fellas, this alternator <coughs> was not putting out any kind of charge whatsoever. And he's supposed to be a truck driver for, I don't know, every so many years, whatever, how long he said that he'd been driving. He told me he said he'd been driving since in the, in the early 80s or some mess. He started out with his uncle or whatever. Well, he don't really pay attention to nothing when he's driving the trucks. <coughs> I told him that he had a bad alternator. Batteries are brand spanking new. They're about a month and a half. But 
long story short so here we go I'm gonna try to show y'all I'm gonna zoom in a little bit but this boat it's got a nut on the other side trying to get it well, I don't think I'm able to zoom in nope they ain't able to zoom in anymore but it's right up under the fins you can barely see it right there I'll try to point at it right up in there that's the nut for that bolt and let me back up try to show you all this one and this bolt here is on the arm of the the adjustment of the alternator bracket they can slide in or out more or less but it's got threads in this here, so all we got to do is just tighten it down, and then we got to undo these these nuts here, so we can hook up our hot and our ground. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that now. We're gonna take this here nut off because this is for our hot. Get the lock washer off. Set the nut down. Now we can install the hot. Well, if it'll stay up there. John Brown. John O. Brown. I just literally dropped the nut. Guys, I got the nut that I dropped. It's not even showing nothing. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second, fellows. right here guys send my finger right here all right and basically where I'm going to be located at putting the hot on the lock washer the nut as y'all can see got us a little screwed up angle view whichever Seven sixteenth socket and ratchet. I'll be right back and we'll keep rolling this.
I'm, I'm, I'm a big liar. That is not a 7 16th, that is a 3 8 And we got the ratchet coming down. Why in the head did I just do that? Alright, now. See if we can't get it unloosened with the rest of them. Nope. Come on, Johnny. Let's get it done. My viewers ain't able to see this part. But they see the ratchet coming up and down. So they know I'm doing something here. All right. Now I should be able to get the rest of the from my hand. On well, my fingers, that is. All I'm doing is taking the, the bolt loose, or taking the bolt off so I can put the ground strap on the alternator. Just slid in the eye hook, whatever you want to call it, the eye connector. We'll screw it back on by fingers until we can't do no more and put the ratchet back on it, snug her down. Trying to be very careful because like I said, I did not disconnect the battery because I don't have the time to do so. Some of y'all may disagree, but I can do it. Just about care less about that. If you know what you're doing, it won't do no harm. <sighs> All right, and we got that all snug tight. Switch this out. We'll put us a seven sixteenth on the hot side. Nut, get that tightened down. these two nuts down here because it's not really attached to nothing and they're pretty loose we may end up using these and we may not so I just want to make them tight so they don't back off these bolts and 
we should be done and ready to put the serpentine belt back on. Just to let y'all know that's 19 to 19, 19 to 19 and to 19. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause y'all for a second so I can get me a ratchet and a socket. All right, got a 19 half inch socket on a ratchet. I got a box then. 19 on the back side. Well, we're just going to get her tightened up. See y'all where y'all should be located. Okay, okay. Now, y'all just like I say, y'all just bear with me because I got all kinds of flippity floppy on the screen when y'all watch this. Y'all forgive me with that. Get this nice and tight. Baby. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Camera's right there. See if I can't flippity flop y'all around here some. See if we can't get an angle on installing the serpentine belt y'all see it just a little bit this is where my hands gonna be at here we go right there so we're gonna already slide and put it on to the alternator pulley. I don't know how in the dipping world. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, my son. You got to empathize on some stuff sometimes, people.
serpentine in style. It sold all the pulleys, <coughs> which the only pulleys that it is on the crank, on the, the alternator, the water pump, and the tensioner. That's the only pulleys that is on. The AC belts on the water pump and the AC itself. All right, guys. Here we go. It's gonna be the moment of truth. Add it on charge. And we're gonna see if everything goes well and starts and fires right on up. Oh yeah. So everything kept a charge. Cause after I had charged it, I had let it sit for. 45 minutes to an hour after I got the batteries charged. Seems to me that everything is working pretty doggone good. <clears throat> All right, mission accomplished. It had a bad, it had a bad wore out non-charging alternator. Tell the, try to tell the truck driver, this truck driver. Don't want to listen to nobody, but he knows it all. I installed this dude here yesterday, or day four yesterday. Quick and easy. But this is the dump truck. 1999 Mac aluminum dump bed. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and the notification bells. Y'all let me know what y'all think about me working and showing videos on heavy equipment, dump trucks, excavator 310, backhoe 416 6E. Here's another excavator, and this one is a 312D. Majority of our equipment are pretty much Bobcat, I mean, not Bobcat, but Caterpillar. That's a Bobcat mini excavator E32. I worked on that. But other than that, you guys, this is what we got. More to come. Let me know how y'all like it in the comments.